Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. This is part two, and oh, me being the idiot I am, I forgot to put the combat knife away, which can be helpful. I mean, it, when they fall down, you stab them instead, but as I don't have the bag space, I will be getting rid of it. And I need to get rid of this ink ribbon too. So we will quickly pick up some ammo. I was meant to do this in the first part, but I forgot. Okay, we will pick up the ammo. And now we'll talk to the guy on the floor. Um, a good measure. Turn around and run away. Okay, we never have to go in that room again as far as I'm aware. to get the chemical so we're gonna go through here I could do with the second floor map actually it's been a while since I've looked at the map so I'm not really sure um, yeah past you past you and we'll go in that room Okay, this room is empty except for this book. If you want to read this book, you can just pause now, now, now. Um, that's just a book about herbs. I'll tell you how, uh, which ones heal you, what they do basically, and I mean you can, you don't need to know that. You, you know by now, surely. And if you don't know, just pause it, read it. down the stairs. I think I should have killed the one on the... not this guy there, but the one earlier. There's a spitting zombie down here as well. I could ignore him, I think, but I'm not going to risk it, so we're going to fully load our gun. We're going to aim. And now we're going to shoot him on the floor as well. I'm not risking him getting up. Um, we're on fine, but we're actually on yellow. We're going to leave that herb there until a time that I need it. I take risks with my HP. Big risks. I tend to think I can avoid more than I can. Uh, we're going to put the sword key away for now, because we don't need it just yet. The sink ribbon can go in there too, and so can the combat knife. Hmm, I'll keep that. The And I'll keep this too. The combat knife just helps us uh, Save some ammo by stabbing them when they're on the ground. Okay, now I don't think I can dodge the guy up the top to by the door that I need to get through. So I might have to kill him. He might bite me. I really hope not. Because uh, the other guy to the left here, he's going to be coming as well. Come on, no biting, no biting. Uh, 
Ah, I don't have time to kill him. Never mind. Now we have to do a little bit more zombie dodging. The two that we dodged earlier. Because the door we just came from is now locked. So, we'll quickly run past you. I ran straight into him. The camera angles in this game, as ever, are quite awkward. It's kind of the best thing about the game. The creepy camera angles and how it makes it difficult to move. Normally it would be an issue, but with this game I actually like it. We're on caution. Oh, need to reload though. Okay. When... Yeah, I'm gonna jump in the safe room. And I'm gonna pick up the small key. No, I'm not. No, because I want the bag space. Actually, if I use this, then I'll have... Okay, I can pick up the small key. I should have picked that up in the other safe room, but I forgot. anything in here. Just check everything once over. Oh, typewriter. Yeah, we know this. And just chemicals, I think. And take the small key. The door on the right there will be going through in a moment. Okay, so this is the plant room. So you just go use. Okay, we're going to be leaving those herbs there. I'm actually going to use one of them. But I need to remember that there will be three herbs, three green and two red, for future reference. So I was thinking about taking a red and green one with me. But nah, there's no need, I can leave it here. We'll take the mansion key. We're going to use that on our way back to the safe room. I think this is the armor. Yeah. And we'll use a small key there as well. Pick up some new items and then we'll need to go to the safe room. But we'll get to that. We have 5 minutes 30 seconds left before I end the part. Approximately. Yeah. It probably will not be exactly 15 minutes. I love their choice of wallpaper. It's so different in every room, every corridor. You would think they'd want their house to match. But it's still really cool. Okay, so we have the broken shotgun. 
uh, clip. Always be happy for ammo. And here we have the desk. I'm not sure what's inside. I can't remember. I think it's shotgun shells. It is. Okay, so now we need to dodge. Ah, oh, no! I thought I made it past him. Get off. Mm, we're on danger. Probably best to use this. So yeah, I'm not doing too well on the whole dodging. I don't think I played this badly at this game in a long time. But there's plenty of healing. There's a green herb by one of the save rooms. There's the three and two red as well. Which I might quickly pick up one of those just to carry with me. And we're going to swap the armor key for the sword key and we are going to put the shotgun shells away and we're also going to put the broken shotgun away because we don't need that yet. So let's go get a uh, red and green herb. left it too late to turn to the right and he got me. Quite disappointed with myself, really. Okay, so let's grab a red. and a green. Combine them to make one that's as strong as a first aid spray. Full heal me. Let's get out of here. Now we're going to go into a sword key room. Where we'll kill a zombie, read a manual, and get an item. I'm not really sure which one actually. It's this one I think. Yeah. That is a sword to keep from. I really hope this is the room I'm thinking of. Right. Okay, so we have a... We have a clip is always good. Yeah, this is classic Resident Evil. Oh. Okay. Wasted a bullet. Oh, shotgun shells. I forgot about those. The first time I played this game, that guy basically made me crap my pants. Okay, Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998, at night. We played poker with Scott the Guard, Elias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Scumbag Steve. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up. Suddenly. Oh, I shouldn't have paused there. 
He was wearing a protection suit that looked like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By the way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear this suit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher ups find out. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time. But I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I heard a researcher I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion it was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was uh, scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell was happening to me? Fever gone but itchy, hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. So, that's the diary of a man turning into a zombie. And it's like some insight into the torture they go through when being turned. Normally I wouldn't read stuff out, but this is Resident Evil. There's going to be a lot of reading. So, I decided... Why the hell not? Okay, we are going to go this way. We have a free slot, so we can do this while we're here. Now, I'm going to have to try and dodge that guy in a minute. Okay, I'm going to do one little thing, and then I'll head back to the save room. So this part will most likely be 20 minutes long. Clicking in completely the wrong place. Okay, now we're going to head back to the save room, save and end the part there. If I can get past this zombie without being an idiot. Right, we want to go in that door. Why do I do that? I actually need to get in the corridor he's in. Now I can either kill him or I can lure him out. I'll kill him. Okay, should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. If in future parts you do not want me to read the uh, books, I'll just skim through them page by page, so give you enough time to read them yourself. Or you can hit pause, but just let me know in the comments if you don't want to read. Will you take the windcrest? Yes, we will. And we'll be back in this room eventually, later on in the game, with a red jewel to get Magnum or Magnum bullets or something like that. Okay, so we need to dodge zombies. Not this time. Nope. No. Sort of lost control there. 
come on, in the door. Okay, so that's all for this part. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscri subscribe if you haven't already, and if you don't like it, harass me on Twitter.